weekend kids Morn morning morning and yeah. it's afternoon for us morning afternoon it depends weekend. when they're watching it depends on when they're watching it. i All bet right. you it's monday morning at tutorials <laughs> So funny. Or Sunday night at Sunday like night at like 10 o'clock. Yeah. Man, see, I'm in bed by then. That Whew. is so funny. Um, we promised you guys, at least I promised my classes, we would do a manipulating equations video. This is not a required video, but I do think that you should take notes, try these, play with them, manipulate them, you, have fun with them. You promised? I student? promised my students. Wow, that's, that's intense. I know. Okay, let's look at the first one. Okay, the first one. Well, first off, let's just talk about this for a second. Standard form of a line is AX plus BY equals C. I know, it's another equation, but look, it's, you, don't freak out. You don't even have to know this. We're just showing you this is a form of a line. The form that we're using is Y equals MX plus B. Which is called the... Y intercept. Y or the slope intercept form. Slope intercept. This is slope intercept form. There's another one that's point slope, which you won't even learn about this year. Standard form, you don't even have to know the name. You just have to know there's other forms. And then you just have to know how to move standard form into y or slope intercept form. Yes, she thinks she's special, but you know what's funny? She writes capital, lowercase, capital, 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 lowercase. You know what's funny is I didn't even notice that. That's funny. That I is pretty notice. funny. Oh, we've got some guest stars. Oh, look at our little guest stars. We've got Elizabeth Duque, Algebra, 8th grade. Whoop, whoop. We got Abby Rojas. Shout out to Nathan. <laughs> so do you guys know what standard form of a line is? Yeah. Yeah, do you know what it is? Yeah. Yeah, what is it? <laughs> AX plus BY equals C. Nice. And she's telling us while she's standing at the door. Like she yeah, just she has no out. idea. She what is slope intercept form? Do you remember that one? Uh, y equals MX plus B. Yeah, look at that. See, one day you'll know them all and she you won't even have to look at a shut. paper. Awesome. <laughs> um, so we're going to manipulate 12X plus 3Y equals zero and when into. We say, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, no. You, I was just going to say, and when we say manipulate, we mean we want to move everything around as long as it's mathematically correct. Yes. And we want to isolate our Y. Yes, so isolating Y. We want Y all by itself. We're it wants from, to be alone. We're going from standard form to slope intercept form. It wants to break up with all its friends. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the first thing we're going to do is this 12x needs to go oh, onto the other side. Bye, bye, bye. And cut. Okay, okay let's go. Um, so we're going to subtract 12x from this side. And then we're going to subtract 12x from here. But we can't take 12x away from a number. Right. So like, if this wasn't zero and it was like one, two, we can't take it away. What would we do? We would just tack it on the end. Okay, just making sure. Yeah. So we're left with 3y equals just negative 12x because... Zero, I Zero's. mean. <laughs> it's, it's, Isn't zero the loneliest number? They say one's the loneliest number. I think zero's the loneliest number. Because it doesn't it. have an opposite. We talked about it today. Yeah. It's so sad. It is sad. Poor zero. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to divide by three and then divide by three. Why this don't, one why don't I be... just subtract it? Because that's a multiplication and the inverse of multiplication is division. Just making sure. That cancels out to one. One Y equals. You know why zero is not lonely? Because it doesn't have anyone with it at all. I mean, it doesn't have a thing. It's just, it's, it's empty. It's zero. It's so sad. It's, <laughs> you just used the word <laughs> empty to describe zero. <laughs> so y equals negative 4x. I'm kind of, kind of tearing up in here. I just, I'm going to have to have to do this for now. But you could make it a zero. <laughs> Next problem. We've got. Can I do this one? Yes, you may do this one. Okay, so we've got. I brought my rolly chair all the way around <laughs> you did just bring to stay chair. comfy. Okay, so once again, we are trying to isolate the Y. We're going to manipulate this problem so that we can um, make sure that it, the Y is by itself. So this one's a little tricky, though. Now, Groves, you might want to chime in because I don't know how you teach your classes, but I teach my kids that I want this Y by itself. I know it's already on the top. Bye, guys. Thanks for visiting. Bye. <clears throat> And I want to get rid of this, um, I want this x to come onto this side. So yeah. I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal, which is with x over 1. Whatever you do to one side, you do to the other. Now, Groves, is that how you would do it? I kind of do it, but basically I say, what operation is that? And they all go division. And then I say, what's the inverse of division? Which is multiplication. So they're multiplying by the x, which is basically what you just said. Okay. Because it's not really, I don't, it's, I, I, you're multiplying by x, not really the reciprocal. Because if it was a reciprocal, it would have y down here. 
Well, the reciprocal of x. Oh, the reciprocal of, which of 1 x. Over yes. x. 1 the over x. The reciprocal of 1 over x. Yes, right, that's, that's what, what you're I'm multiplying. Yeah, by. I tell them that we don't want to put the y because then it'll go away completely yeah, and turns exactly. into 1. Yeah. No, we've talked about that in class. I just want to see if you teach it a different way. But you that's do basically generally the, the same, same thing. thing. Okay. So then these will go away and turn into just 1y. And then I'm going to multiply this, which is 5x. And I think I'm done. Uh, you're done. You're in y equals mx plus b. And this is direct variation. And proportional. Even though the y's on that side? Even though the y's on that side, it's still in the form of y equals kx. It just looks funny. Awesome. Thanks for letting me use your fancy pen. I love my pen. I love these. There's a green one and a purple one and a maroon one. I have a blue one in my classroom. Oh I have a black gosh. one. I don't even want to know. This one is super exciting. This one tripped oh my, my gosh. kids up. Completely. I love this problem. Me too. And, and I told them, I said, I told my, my, I think it was my fifth period class, you guys, as long as you're using inverse operations the entire time, you're going to be fine. Do you know what I told my kids? What? What do you have here? You have a proportion? A proportion. What do you do with a proportion? Oh, I, I multiply by a scale factor. Oh, we... <laughs> cross multiplied. We divide. cross multiplied, and I oh went my gosh, X guys... times Y equals 30. You guys, I didn't even think of that. I hope you all are paying attention. I want to know period. your way now, because I don't know what your way I is. I manipulated the heck out of this mother. So you, like, multiplied by... I, I'm, you, I, whoa. I'm multiplied by, you all want to see it? Do it this way and I'll show okay, you Okay, let way. me show you my way because it's a lot easier than what sounds like. It is. Dreams. It is. I didn't even so, think of that. But I'm sure this, it's because yeah. they need to know for solving equations. They have to right. be able to manipulate. Well, I the reason I showed them this way was because I've got the, because this created a whole new equation. Right, so I've got x times y equals 30. Now I divide by x. I divide by x. Y equals 30 over x. And that's how I did it. So Ms. Green's currently helping for a second. Okay, okay she's go. back. She's let gonna me, show us me, her way. Let me show you no, my you don't way. Get the chair this time. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get down on one knee like I'm proposing. Oh. Miss okay. Groves, I've <laughs> no. got something very important to ask you. No. Will you please? <laughs> Haley Allen over here is already <laughs> offering a ring. I was gonna say something <laughs> cute. Like, will you do me the honor of helping me with my lesson plans? For next week. Absolutely. See, geez, you didn't even know what I was gonna ask. You're just, <laughs> you're just judging. Okay, so here we go. Um, so what I taught my students to do, and you don't, don't get scared, because if you don't want to do it, the hearse was so easy. I didn't even think of that. What I did is I used all inverse operations. Pretend this was just a whole number. How would I get rid of this y over here? Just like Miss Grove said, you multiply by y, multiply by y. Okay, that goes away. I'm left with y x all over five equals to six. Ew. Okay. Multiply by five on this side. I know. I'm mine. Your way is so much better yeah, than mine. My way was so much for better. For sure, for sure. But check it out. But now we get the same thing. And you know what? Now that I think about it, now that I think about it, it was one step more. Yours was yeah. in one, two, three. Mine was in one, two, three, four. Yeah, but yours was ugly. You're oh, ugly. Can y'all do your article of the weeks? Because they were due. Are you talking to me and Miss Gropes? Everyone. Us hey, too? why didn't you guys do your article of the week for Coach Payne? Um, he's expecting that. It better be there Monday. <laughs> he even came into the video and guest spoke for us to do that by Monday. He's not even smiling. No, he doesn't look happy. Oh, you better get it done. <laughs> oh, he slammed the door. <laughs> oh, y'all in trouble? Oh. Okay, so if you don't like mine, that's okay. You don't have to. But my pre-AP, her way was totally easier. I didn't even think of that. She's a genius. I know. What can I say? Schedule change. Just kidding. No, I love you. No, okay. you come to, no don't come to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's the next one. Just kidding. I love you all. Okay. Okay. Uh, do we have just this one? I think we have. You want to hold the pen together and we'll do it together? I don't know if I can manage that. I'm just kidding. Oh, okay. So we're back into standard form of a line, and we're just going to manipulate this one again. So what do we have to do first if we've got 3x plus 5y equals 10? Okay, well, we want to get everything on the other side. All we want is our y. I want so... just y to be by itself. Right, so we need to get rid of this 3x over here. So, so I this... divide it. No, oh. it's addition, so you do the inverse, which is subtraction. And the reason they keep dividing it is because they're like, but that's a multiplication. Uh, right. But we're taking the whole 3x. We're moving the whole thing. 3x minus 3x is 0. Minus 3x, this is where you see 10 minus 3x, I can't, that's like apples and oranges. Right. I can't add apples and oranges and say how many oranges do I have. I like your analogy that you've Thanks. used. Thanks, I love it. So 5y equals 10 minus 3x. Now I'm going to divide before, by 5. Oh, before, before you do anything, yeah. Can I told my students that this is okay for them to write, mm -hmm. but because it's y equals to mx plus b, can you please show them how it's supposed to look if we do mx plus b? Can I do it at the end? Because that's where I planned. Oh, it. yeah, sure. Sorry. Okay. I didn't awesome. Know. I, I like to move it all and then move that's it at fine. the end. I do it at the um, very beginning because it freaks me out. Oh. 
Oh, okay. It's weird how things freak you <laughs> I out know, and they don't meet and then they freak and It's so weird. We, we are very different. Now, because, because I divided by five here, I have to divide by five on the whole side over here. So I'm dividing by five. I actually did the proof in one of my classes. Oh, boy. I had to think back to like, you <laughs> Geometry? Know. No, not geometry. It the was algebra that. proofs? It was, it was like... Why would I be doing algebra proofs in geometry? I don't, well, I don't know. All we ever did was proofs in geometry. I hate proofs. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Real analysis. It was a real uh, number lot yeah. analysis. Yeah. It was awesome. Yeah. Anyways, what's 10 divided by 5? Um, can you split it up for my kids? Because we split it up and we do 10 divided by 5 right here. Okay. And then, of course, minus, then minus yeah, 3. Yeah, just so they see it split up X already. X over 5. Okay. Okay. I'm not that nice. I don't and the, <laughs> well, I, Because they couldn't wrap their minds around that. Mm, and I yeah. just want to show them. Yeah, okay. no worries. So 10 divided by 5 was? 2. Minus... I'm going to leave that as a fraction, 3 right, fifths please. x. And then, because this isn't in y equals mx plus b, I am going to change this to y equals mx plus b. This 2 is a what? Positive, positive or negative? Yeah, this is a positive right here. And then, so this is a negative, negative. so it's minus 3 fifths x plus 2. All we do is move them around. But you've got to be real careful when you move them around that you, you carry the signs yes. with them. The signs have to stay with them. That's manipulating equations, guys. It's actually pretty easy. It's actually really fun. I love manipulating equations and playing with them and like, hey, what can I move where? Just because it's fun. Okay. You were done. We're out. There's ha a smiley face. We hope you're having a great weekend or a yes. good morning or a or good, good night, night whenever morning. you're watching it. Yeah. Have fun. Peace Bye. out.